Hey guys, welcome back to our repair guys. In today's video guys, we will show you how to remove and replace knock sensor on Hyundai Elantra guys. Uh, that should be generation 2011 to 2016-17. Uh, the 1.8 engine, the 2.0 might be the same procedure as well. We will have more than 200 videos taking the whole car apart. Anything from engine work to interior, door panels, anything you can think of guys. So if you need help with anything, drop a comment. We will we'll keep uploading video about that car, so please subscribe, give a like, and uh, now let me explain you where the knock sensor is located. You can see it's right here behind the intake, so we need to go ahead and remove the intake to get to it. Stay with us and we'll show you how we are going to do that now. So you have to make sure that you jack the front end of the car up, use jack stands guys for safety because we will be under the vehicle. Uh, we will have all the tools and parts that we use listed in the description of the video below. So if you need anything just check it out. So we will need to remove the engine cover first. After that we will need to remove the uh, top of the air filter box. Now with the 10 millimeter, there is one bracket here that we will need to get loose in order to uh, disconnect that hose. Now this is the throttle body here and you can see that it has two hoses going in, one in, one out. This is coolant, so in order not to drain the whole coolant out of your vehicle, we will remove the throttle body from the intake. Now as you can see in the intake you can see two hoses going in so we'll need to disconnect them one from here okay and one from down there so we'll go ahead and disconnect those now. So now that wiring harness will need to be disconnected from the intake. On this one, okay, you just press those two things towards each other and you pull it out. Okay, like that. Disconnecting the wires one by one. Now, right here, you go underneath and there is two more clamps, the same kind, that we just uh, undid on top and we will need to disconnect that wiring harness from the intake as well. Now there is one bolt underneath that holds the intake. So with a 12 millimeter socket, okay, you see where the bolt is. Uh, I cannot go underneath and show you because I cannot get the camera in there. Once we remove it, I'll show you exactly where it is. Make sure you stay until the end, we'll share something important as well. Okay, this is the bolt, we removed it. Next we will need to use a 12mm socket to remove the bolts that hold the intake towards the cylinder head. Thank you. 
the two on top guys uh, they're not not both my bad and the other ones are both pretty long bolts So once the intake is out of the way, this is your knock sensor. Okay, this is the wire for the knock sensor. So we need to disconnect it by pulling that piece out, pull to the back. Now, we need to disconnect, okay, that holder, that uh, clip here. So there is one round little hole, press in. Inside with the screwdriver, there is a tooth. Press on it. Okay, we're almost, up oh, right there. Okay, and it will come out. Okay, this is this is the thing I'm talking about. Okay, this right here. Now there is one holder there. Pull it out. 12 millimeter socket will get it loose. And later when you start putting it together, stay with us. There is something important that you have to do. Okay, and that is guys, the knock sensor out, the, out of there, one tray as you can see. Uh, not very complicated to replace, but it takes a little bit of time as you can see. So let's go ahead and put the new one now. So this is guys, the new sensor we'll go ahead and install. Uh, we have a video how to test them as well on the channel, check it out. Uh, also, what calls will trigger that uh, that sensor so you know that it's a, it's a bad sensor or not. So uh, all we have to do now is connect it in reverse order. Okay, we need to connect the wire. So after you connect your wire, we will need to grab the intake, place it on the head. Always make sure that this, uh, the valves are clean here. And uh, if they're not, you can use a vacuum to get any dust that fell in the valve stems. Uh, anything else, guys? Pretty much the intake. You install it in reverse order that we took it apart. Uh, so that's it for that video. If you need help with anything, let us know and we'll try to make a video for you.